I'm Jason Fitzgerald, the head coach of Strength Running, and I want to give you guys some book recommendations today because I know if you're like me, you love reading about running, and there's just so many options out there. I think over the last 20 years, we've seen just an incredible explosion of high quality running books that are available to anybody who wants to learn more about the sport. So, I want to go into detail on three of my favorite books that are designed to get you motivated and really get you excited about the sport of running. These aren't the best books for staying healthy or learning about the training process and how you should structure your training, but these books are just great stories and they really open you up to the sport of running. So let's get started. My first recommended book is Running with the Buffaloes by Chris Lear. This is probably the first running book that I ever read and it was when I was a freshman or a sophomore in college and Running with the Buffaloes is all about the University of Colorado at Boulder's cross country team and a season where they ended up winning the national championship. Uh, very sad too, they lost a member of their team in a tragic accident. And so Chris Lear, the author, spent the entire season with the cross country team at practice and what I love about this book is that it really gives you an inside look into what college cross country is like at the highest levels. So if you're someone who competed in cross country or track and field in college, or maybe you're a parent and you have a high schooler who loves running and is thinking about training and competing in college, I really would recommend Running with the Buffaloes just to get an idea of what that is like. It's also just an incredible story about one of the most dominant cross country teams in the country. This is the team coached by Mark Wetmore, who's arguably one of the most prolific cross country coaches in the country. And the number one runner on the team at the time was Adam Goucher, who went on to uh, be an incredibly uh, successful sponsored athlete by FIFA and also, uh, or I'm sorry, Fila. And his wife, everyone knows, is Kara Goucher. Uh, so really interesting look at what college cross country is like and seeing some of the big players in the running scene when they were a lot younger. Okay, our next book is a weird book. <laughs> sorry, Burned. This is uh, Why We Run, A Natural History by Burned Heinrich, uh, previously published as Racing the Antelope. Um, this book is not just about running. This book is about why we run. It's about some of the biology behind what happens in our bodies when we're running. And it's about a biology professor's quest to become an ultramarathoner. Not just a, a, an ultramarathoner, but one of the best in the country. And he ended up winning the national 100K championships out of nowhere. This guy was mostly an unknown and he trained by himself and his training was guided by his research into animal endurance. And it's just a crazy story. And, and I think it's beautifully well-written. If you want to get lost in a story about one man's quest to become a good runner and using his academic experience as a professor to try to guide that training, this is a great book. Really love this one. This one is actually maybe one of my favorites of all time. And our final book that's gonna get you motivated, excited to train, and hopefully really, really jacked up about running is Iron War by Matt Fitzgerald. This is one of the greatest kind of almost like documentary books about a specific race that I've ever read. Uh, and, and there's a bunch of reasons why I love it. First of all, it's not even about running, it's about triathlon, uh, but it's about the early years of Ironman and how that early sport grew into the sport it is today and really looking at kind of, you know, what were people doing at the time? Because in the early days of any sport, the training isn't as established yet. And so you really go into detail on Dave Scott and Mark Allen's training styles and their methodologies, but also their personalities. And that's what made this race so exciting. There was this great rivalry between the two and Matt Fitzgerald did an excellent job at capturing that excitement. And you know, this book I think uh, will get you excited to try a triathlon. Even if you're strictly a runner, even if you just love running, that's your first love and you have no desire to get on a bike, or maybe you're like me and you just get in the water and you sink like a rock. <laughs> Nevertheless, this is an amazing story, one that's gonna get you really excited 
about training and running and hopefully attempting a triathlon. So I really recommend this one as well. So there we have it. Those are my three recommended books about running and triathlon, I guess, that are gonna get you excited to run, motivated. It's gonna boost your excitement for the sport. So if you happen to be in a rut, you're not really sure what to do, you're you know, kind of uh, flailing around right now because there aren't any races on the schedule, these are some good options. They're gonna get you excited, but then they're also gonna teach you a little bit more about the people who are operating at such high levels. And it'll give you that nice little window into their brain so you can see how they think about their training, how they think about racing and competing, and I think that's gonna make you into a better athlete. So we do have links under this video on YouTube uh, to these books if you wanna go ahead and buy them. And I also have a link to my runner's library page on the Strength Running website where I'm gonna go, in, I go into a lot more detail on all of the books that I own and have. I have bookshelves all around me covered in running books. And so if you're thinking about buying a running book and you're not sure which one to, to buy, there's a lot of recommendations there. So I hope you find it helpful. And under this video, I wanna know what you are reading because obviously I have not read all of the running books that are out there, but I'd like to read more of them. What running book are you reading right now? I'd love some suggestions.